Miami Dolphins low risk high reward type of move here Tra trading a 2025 six rounder for Trace Claypool from the Chicago Bears so Claypool we know his rookie season with the Pittsburgh Steelers a few years ago he really broke out but the last couple years he just hasn't gotten anything going his Claypool and the stats haven't been there or the explosiveness so now he goes to a high powered Miami Dolphin offense where a lot of speed and explosive big plays Mike McDaniel in this offense runs with to a quarterback. And right here, I think it's a good landing spot to go in as a number three, four wide receiver in the slot here for Chase Claypool over there in Miami. And to give up nothing to get a guy who we saw have great talent, like I said a few seasons ago with the Steelers. Best quarterback he's going to play with is Chase Claypool with to now since Ben Roethlisberger three, four seasons ago. And then it was Kenny Pickett, obviously. And Justin Fields, they just couldn't click. So right now, Chase Claypool traded once again for the second time in as many years here to the Miami Dolphins. And in terms of fantasy football, I think Chase Claypool, you got to take a wait and see approach. He's available right now, 98% of fantasy leagues. And we got to see how he fits in with this Miami Dolphin offense. Even though I think he's a third wide receiver and a slot guy, I think he's perfect behind a Tyreek Hill, a Jalen Waddle, and even a Braxton Berrios. So Chase Claypool, the Dolphins go out there and they even add more depth to their strength at the wide receiver position adding Claypool. And we'll see if he can help the Dolphins and fantasy owners for the remainder of the 2023 season.